Alright guys, Gary back again. I'm a little bit quiet because it's uh, it's nearly half one in the morning. Um, I'm just editing this video and I've just realised I've forgotten to actually do an intro. So, alright, my name's Gary, aka Hopeless. Uh, in this video I'll be taking a look at how I painted this really large bear. Uh, this is from Loot Studios. They're a relatively new uh, subscription service company. Uh, they give out uh, 3D printer files each month. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been playing about with that. If you've seen any of my streams in the last couple of weeks, I've been painting the welcome pack. But I figured rather than I, I don't want to ignore my YouTube channel, I figured I would paint. This uh, it's the character I'm gonna to have to read the name, Cormarsha Son, who I believe is a elven druid. So that's that's her in like elf form, and then that is her in um, big beefy bastard mode. Um, these are printed at 75 mil scale, and yeah, they're quite a lot of fun. I'll put a link down below to uh, their website. Um, take a look. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please do leave a like, leave a comment down below, and uh, yeah, is that in focus? Yeah, it is. Cool. So, uh, 3D principle. Recommended. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So I think I've mentioned my 3D printer a couple of times, but not really in great detail. Um, I have a Mars, or an Elegoo Mars, one of the first gen ones. Um, got it in March, quite happy with it, playing about with it a bit more at the moment. And uh, this is part of what turned out to be a nearly 24 hour print. Yeah. It was uh, it was interesting. It's also me playing about with the time lapse uh, feature on my camera. Didn't realise it was there. Would have been nice to uh, film the entire thing, but uh, don't really have enough room on my memory card for 24-hour solid filming. I'm pretty sure we all remember the uh, drill by now. Black undercoat with uh, Liquitex titanium white ink done over top to do some highlighting and. Uh, Actually, I went for something a little bit different. I got out my De La Rowney uh, acrylic inks. Because uh, I've had them for a while and I haven't really used them on anything. But uh, this, uh, this sepia went down quite nicely. It was fun trying to make sure that uh, everything was covered and I hadn't left any uh, blatantly missed parts anywhere. Once that was all dry, I got some uh, Vermin Lord hide and then dry brushed it all over the fur just to sort of bring out the highlights. Probably turned out a bit more red than uh, I would have liked, but uh, I think it looks quite good anyway. For the shoulder pads, I used Pro Acryl's Dark Silver. It's uh, quite a nice silver, I think. And then for the silver rings or silver discs that are all over the body, uh, I use Pro Acryl's Normal Silver, which I quite like actually. It took a couple of uh, coats to go down. Uh, comes up nice and smooth, very thin. Did keep seeing the brown ink underneath it for a few layers, but uh, it covered over quite nicely in the end. And there were eight of these damn rings over the body. Uh, which uh, I kept missing bits on, which is always fun. I do love how the bear has a nose ring, yet the druid in elf form does not have a nose ring, so I'm not quite sure what happens there. And I used Pro Acryl Copper for the uh, nose ring and the trim on the shoulder pads. Oh, and the, uh, the shin guards as well. Totally forgot about those. If there's one thing I really want to try and focus on, uh, over the next few models is to uh, basically try and do the eyes a lot better than I have been. Um, so I actually took a bit more, a, a little bit more care in doing the eyes on the bear for this one. Uh, I used Abaddon Black as uh, a base. 
and then did the uh, the same of Adam Black on the nose. Uh, using a rather lovely Quad Zero brush that I got from Modelbox. Link down below as always. While waiting for those to dry, I uh, got some Carnation Pink from Instar as part of the Alpha range and uh, used that on the inside of the bear's mouth. For the pads on the paws, I used... what did I use? That was it, it was Warm Flesh from Instar Paints, uh, part of the Alpha range. I'm trying to use those a lot more than uh, my contrast stuff at the moment. And I think the effects are coming out quite nicely. While all that was drying, I got the milk chocolate from uh, Instar again, that's their alpha range, and did all of these straps holding the silver discs on. And, uh, yeah, even, even, even the straps, I somehow managed to keep missing quite a lot of them. But we got there in the end. By this point, the uh, the mouth had dried out a bit, so I got some Corax White and went over the teeth and his claws to use those as a base. I used Dark Blue from Instar, part of the Alpha range, to do the wraps over the forearms and the shins. And then I broke out some Earth Earthshade from Games Workshop to go over to sort of just just dull down the details a little bit. And I went over everything with this. Quite happy with how I came out. Now I think this is the only time that I break out any form of contrast paint on this model and that is a skeletal horde because I just really like how that lends itself to uh, to teeth and bone and claws so obviously I did the teeth and claws with this while all that was drying I grabbed a deep red from Instar's alpha range and uh, put a couple more dots on the eyes and uh, Looking back, I've never seen anyone looking so cack-handed doing this. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, zoom, zoom in for a for better effect there. Good, good choice. Moving on to the base, I used Black Templar Contrast Paint from Games Workshop. And then I jumped back to the eyes and a uh, little, little white dot to make it look pretty. Also, sort of pretend that's where some light is coming from. Tiniest dab in the world. Unfortunately, the light from my camera doesn't really pick it up too well, but uh, there it is. Bit of an improvement. And to be fair, I think I just started playing about with the bass. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do. I experimented quite a bit and I think it came out quite nicely. This is Forest Green from Instar. It's uh, Alpha Paint mixed with uh, their Water Plus. That was one drop of paint to three drops of Water Plus and it comes out this really nice wash. For the runes, I sort of wanted to make them look like they were glowing underneath the druids, um, so I used the, and I'm going to butcher this, this is the Nikolai Oxide from Games Workshop for their technical paint. Just loaded up the brush on the tip and then just ran it through the grooves so it filled in the gaps. And if I ended up getting too much over the top, just wipe it away with my finger. Sort of adds to it, to be fair. I think the end result came out quite nicely. Uh, what I did learn throughout this was the uh, base for this is actually bigger than my uh, 
turntable that I normally have at the end of the uh, videos, so this is going to be fun. Playing about with Instar paints again now. Um, I actually used acid green with uh, Water Plus to make another wash, so one paint, three waters. Um, I like acid green, it's quite a bright, almost m like magical looking green in the right circumstances, and uh, I think this comes out quite nicely as well. I carried on round the edge of the uh, base and uh, obviously had painted Steel Legion Drab around the border just to sort of make it look nice. But I, again, I quite like how the, uh, the acid green comes out in this. So yeah, I did have to break out my old turntable to uh, get this all to fit into place. Um, there is a, an orc boy <laughs> next to her left leg for uh, to basically show you how big this thing is, uh, just in case you don't know what 75mm wear druid bear form thing is. I'm quite impressed. That's probably the, the biggest thing I've printed on my printer so far. Um, they do these models in 75mm scale and 32mm scale, so you can use them for your tabletop games as well. Uh, and they're all pre-supported, which I find quite nice. But anyway, this is Kormash Sun, bare form, all finished. Um, I really did enjoy painting this. I'm actually getting quite into painting larger scale uh, things. So whether this, uh, this continues, be interesting to see. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, this is from Loot Studios. Um, I'll put a little link down to their website down below. I think it's worth checking out if you have a 3D printer. Uh, yeah, though I am really tired. This has really, been a late week for me. In any case, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do let me know what you think. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see more things like this. Hell, even let me know what sort of things you would like to see me try and paint. I'm always open for suggestions. So until the next time, I'm Gary, aka Hopeless. Thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you soon. So until then, see ya.